Welcome back! I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded! You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order? For peace? For Atlantis? For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Dicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Killing your brothers is a waste. Teach them to learn... I watched you help my brothers. You always found solutions that tried to preserve life. Some of my kind view humans as a resource to be sacrificed. If we want them to progress, we must be an example. We all look up to someone. I think they look up to you. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision. For the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. This city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Nikastis. And for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. are incredible. I almost feel like I can hear them speaking to me.
de Castis. I heard you can help me with the solar flora regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? I don't know anyone named Minerva. Her students are so small-minded about my photosynthesis accelerator. If you want to be a scholar, why follow such a rudimentary doctrine? Look, do you need something from me? Oh, apologies, Dicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. Looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. must be the device now please mentioned reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis
worked. First one down. Tell now, case it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened? <sighs> I moved your light beams. Seem to be working, but then the beams are aligned. Yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Oh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Oh no, something's wrong with the photons. Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. 
N never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh. Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of imperial... It's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Like Neoclis was right. There is no rock here. <gasps> hey! Stop right there! Get back here! Oh, Malaka! in here somewhere. Maybe if I move some things around.
doing running around here? I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neoclis' rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neoclis has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neoclis' device and we'll fix the flowers. Neoclesis' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neoclis needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. All right, give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You've completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability! Trust in yeah. Nature will heal itself if you allow it. <coughs> Thank you, the Castis. This is the right direction to go in. We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves. This is intense. So I can't tell where my hand ends and the stuff begins. The one who holds the staff has no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I hear you, Olivia. You may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable.
There's uh, Gabara, Quick, follow me. Trust a stranger? I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace. And I've been watching you. That's not ominous at all. Training to become like you, but training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis. The Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. Showing off for me, are you? Just a little. Are you impressed? You're strangely charming. For a thief. Flattering, but we have business to attend to the Castis. So... What do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait, you're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu meant truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. But so long as I am merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you. seem very passionate about Atlantean politics. Atlas doesn't approach the human and Isu conflict with compassion for humanity. I believe I can bring that compassion. Someone so ready to kill his own brothers hardly strikes me as husband material. Atlas is like any Isu, aloof and unchanging. That's why we make a good team. I bring out his humanity. It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, Adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw Adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. He doesn't know about this? I'll tell him the truth when the time is right. Please, hurry back. And this is interesting. That's the adamant metal on LP's told me about. She said I should get the raw adamant without being seen. Extra careful in this area.
Looks like this might be where they store the raw adamant after mining it. I'll bring this to El Pis. It's reacting with my staff somehow. Almost like they were meant to be together.
adamant, as promised. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. You seem fine to me. I don't know why you're trying to change. Just as you were destined to be the Castiz, I am destined for this. I just know it. Humans in Atlantis are lucky to have someone like you fighting for you. You'll make a great leader. I'm glad you understand what this means to me. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Castes when you need her. The forging takes time. What we do next will change Atlantis irreversibly. You should make sure you complete all your duties as the Castes before meeting me at the Loma of Atlas.
Stop her before she kills again! Leave me alone! Want to tell me what that was all about? No. I'll be fine. Dicastis! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... you! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. I don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't leave it myself, I swear. Please, please clear my name. Where were you when the family was murdered? If it happened last night like they said, I was here trying to sleep. Although lately it's been restless, filled with strange dreams. It's always the same one, over and over. Were you alone? Well, yes. I've been so tired lately, I decided to stay in. You said something about other murders. This was the... third time. I just don't understand why they blame me. I, I don't have the stomach to do that. I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. These footprints track the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. This blooded cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. These aren't stamp wounds. They're claw marks. Hello. Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it, too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. The great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? Uh, I've said enough. I understand your hesitation, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra, you agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. find out what happened the evidence I found was conflicting tell me two people saw what happened one woman heard a wolf howling but a man said he saw you covered in blood and leaving the family's house he's lying 
Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, Dicastis. Whether it was a wolf or something else, it's clear it wasn't you. Of course it wasn't, but why would someone make it seem like I'm the murderer? We'll figure that out together. After I kill the beast. You're going to kill it? What other choice is there? Do you want another mob after you? No, of course not. I've just always hated the killing of animals. If I don't kill it now, it will kill someone later. I have a friend who can keep me safe while you end this. Beast and kill it before it grows bloodthirsty again. It was me! What am I? I've seen this before. A minotaur, a cyclops, a Horon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I don't remember coming here. Or why? to guess. That side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me. I've had dreams lately of being in the bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me. If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? If I lost control of myself and knew I'd never get it back, I'm not sure what I'd do. I thought so. This is the only way. If I'm to die, I want to be the one to decide when that happens. You don't need to do this. The choice was made for me. I can't go on after what I've done, and what I'd likely do again. Thank you. For everything.
Issue technology can and will change whoever isn't strong enough to command it. That explains your own aggression, Layla. I'm still me. I'm not as weak as you think I am. The <gasps> <gasps> 